Kimba, what is it again? My husband. My strength. My world. Why are you doing this? Why are you breaking my heart? By showing weakness to something you know is not permanent. Sweet words can be very consoling. But the reality of life is harsh. It is so glaring. It's like a mirror with which we see ourselves. My husband, I know. But I did not get married to you because of what you had. I got married to you because I saw a man who had potentials and able to withstand any storm. My dear, that's why I shed tears. That is why I shed tears. Because misfortune has not only come to visit us, but has taken a permanent seat in our home. God forbid. Speed those abominable words out. Speed them out, Bikobo Poisson. To fear my alone. Hey, God. I will not allow poverty to condemn the good life God has promised us. Amen. That is the spirit. That is the spirit. It came. We are just going through a phase. It is not permanent unless you want to make it permanent. No, I would. I will not. I reject it. Amen. I reject it. Amen. Amen. Is it gold? My business must have gone down. But I know I will rise again. Amen. The Bible says, dry bones shall rise again. Ikemba shall rise again. Amen. Take. Go out. Mix up with your friends. Go and have a drink. Poverty shall never know our home again. Where are you coming from? Hey, hey, hey! I dare you. I dare you to walk away from me. Just dare it! Azo, I beg you in the name of God. I am tired. I do not have the energy for another fight. Hey, hey, hey! I am your husband. And when I ask you a question, you will answer me immediately. Well, if you must know, I went to Azo. I went to Azo for money to feed you. Oh, so finally you have accepted that you sell your body for money. If I do so, am I wrong? Eh? Tell me, if I do so, am I wrong? Do you bring in a dime into this house? Am I not the one who feeds you and take care of everything? So now you're a prostitute. So now you are a bloody prostitute. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself, not be grateful, not to sit lazy around and open your mouth to insult me. Adaku, Adaku, I opened the business for you when things were good for me. I opened the business with my money for you. What do you do? All you're bothered about is to dress up in fancy clothes and buy jewelries. You do not know that what you should be doing is taking care of me now that things are bad. Take care of you. You're such a lazy man. I've never seen a man as lazy as you are. God, I wonder what I saw in you. Ah! You're very stupid. Yes, love me. Yes, love me. Oh. 
and get 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 out, get out of here. No. I'll just kill you. Get people stinking hands, sex breathing hands away from me. I'll just kill you. I will kill you. Do you want to die? Do you want to die? Huh? Do you want to die? Get your hands off me. My friend, get your hands off me. Get your hands off me. It's okay, my little angel. Come here. Mm. I'm sure it's tears of joy. Hmm? See, anytime mommy is crying like this, it means she is extremely happy. Okay? It's nothing to worry about. All right, run along to your room. Let me have a chat with mommy. Careful. Meg, why are you doing this? I am doing nothing. I've told you over and over again. If you want to continue crying because things have gone bad for us, fine. But please, I beg you in the name of God, not in front of our daughter. Richard, I might not have your kind of courage, but the truth remains that things are difficult for us and nothing seems to be improving. But, but you're not a good Christian. Oh, please spare me that. My being a good Christian has nothing to do with my husband suddenly becoming a dreamer. Eh? Excuse me. Is that what you now call me? Me, your husband, a dreamer? I'm sorry. I'm so very sorry. But you're not doing anything to get a job. You keep claiming that one contract or the other will click. For crying out loud, we have a child and she cannot survive by your constant braggies. Of course you will talk like this, I don't blame you. I don't blame you, this is how you will talk because you are now the one who is paying all the bills in this house. Don't, 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 don't talk to me, I'm still talking. I don't blame you. But one day, one day I will surprise you. I will prove to you that I'm not a weakling. I will prove to you that anything I touch turns to gold. Wham! You're looking very fine. But no, how can you say that now? It's not what you see. Oh. Okay, oh. you know, a man laughs just because he cannot cry. You know, mm. it's simple, you know. Just trying to hold myself. Mm. You know. My brother, I understand. The Iroko tree is threatening to fall in its prime. But no, it's not possible. Eh? How can the Iroko tree fall? The Iroko tree cannot fall when it does not pay its dividends in life. No, it's not possible. Mm. Because they have, eh? uh, maybe you are not talking about an Iroko tree that is infested 
with termites. You see this Iroko tree? This Iroko tree has the worst termite infestation you can ever think of. It will survive only by the grace of God. Well, that's why we're who we are. A rare breed. We cannot give up despite or irrespective or regardless of the circumstance. We just cannot. I get Yeah. That's the boy. Is that not Richard? I'm saying. Richard boy! Nadu, Abba! Richard, Richard! Richard, Richard! That was before. Okay, when he came back was before. Eh? He came back, you see now, sitting down here. Eh? He's trying to regain a new or gain a new identity. Uh, guy, two bottles of beer. See, Ogi Kemba, you don't have to. You're not supposed to be searching for a new identity now. Mm -mm. Uh, he has a very strong point. What you need to do now is to renew, rearrange, repackage. Okay, they can repackage a new identity. You would understand. Eh? You would understand. Okay, Kimba, you are a big boy. You are a big boy. You have made money and spent money. Okay? What you need now, see, Okay, Kimba, what you need now is to sit back, relax, then you ask, get it run alone in town. Richard, oh, before, before. Before he came back, he came back. Well, anyhow, one of the same chapter was going on in town. As you get to know what's happening in town, well, that's what you're quick check with. One, tell me what's going on in town. And then he began to can kill you. What's going on? Eh, if I'm able to. Richie get ping is again. Rich, ping here. I will ping him, but before I ping him, you order drinks, I heard you. You then bring the drinks first. <laughs> I heard that part. Yeah. <laughs> Asking for to, for the waiter to bring uh, two bottles of beer. Mm. Yeah, quite soft drink. <laughs> so because may have three bottles. <laughs> listening to your stories. It is sad and pathetic. But that is the reality of life. Only the strong survive. Wealth is a matter of choice. Do you have the mind to venture where only the strong dare? Chief. I have the mind. Obiag. Obiag. Okay? I have no destiny with poverty. It's all right. Yeah. It will be a sin against God and man if I remain this poor. Chief, you've heard my friend. We all have the same mindset to make money at all costs. We want to be rich, wealthy. Chief Tina in Evana. Good. Only a few are opportune to discover and know the wisdom of the ancient. Yes. The Greek has Pluto, which means riches, wealth, abundance, be it material or spiritual things. It comes from the God of the underworld. But it has a risk you must take. Chief, even if it is untimely death, uh, it's just that the death, the time frame, let it be a little bit longer so that when the money comes, I can enjoy the money before I... Okay. I, I, I don't care. <laughs> that is called courage. Money and all the good things of life go to only those who are fearless. A life of Zoe. Uh, Chief, I am willing to embrace it at any cost. Any cost at all. Mm -hmm. 
You shall do it at your own detriment. Because what you seek is what you get. Prepare for a test that will open the doors of the underworld so that the good things you seek in life will come to you. Gentlemen, henceforth, you are among the chosen. Yes! <laughs> and the test begins immediately. You can laugh. <laughs> we are together. Yes. <laughs> warned you not to disturb me whenever I am having my prayers. Well, it seems you have lost sense of time. Let me remind you, it is 4.30 a.m. Did you expect me to sleep all through in the parlor? Eh? All in the name of so-called prayers. Please, I want to sleep. Adako. Adaku, you need to be careful. If you want us to have peace in this family, you need to adhere to my instruction. Which instructions? I'm asking you, which useless instructions are you talking about? Eh? You expect me to sleep in the parlor while my husband sleeps in the bedroom, all in the name of prayers? I don't blame you. Your problem is confusion. That's what your problem is called. Poverty has confused that you no longer know what you are doing. Please, I want to sleep. Poverty Please. has confused me. Yes, yes, poverty, that's your problem. Poverty has confused me. Thank you. Thank you. Poverty has confused me. You were still asleep. No, I've been up since. I just thought I didn't want to disturb anybody. Is everything all right? Yes, everything will be okay. Perfectly okay. Sooner than later, I will give this family 
everything they deserve. Amen and amen, Daddy. <laughs> I trust you. It's alright. Thank you, my dear daughter. Let's go, children. Alright. Let's go. Alright. Bye, Daddy. Bye. Bye, Daddy. Okay, okay. Bye, bye, bye. Okay, Mom. Bye, bye. Um, the money I gave you last month, is there anything left of it? I have just 2,000 Naira left, but it's okay, we'll manage, God is on the throne. It's alright, my dear wife, hmm? all this will soon be a thing of the past. I have arrested my destiny, yes I have. There will be a total turnaround of everything in this house, okay, as long as God is on the throne. It's alright, my dear. It's alright. <laughs> so, my sister, aside from the car, you also promised to give me a million naira to improve my business. Oh, are you I'm serious? Telling you. It was it? Oh, good morning, sir. Good morning. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How's so your good. husband? Oh, he's very well, thank okay, you. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you. Um, Adako, uh, is there any food at home? Oh, yeah. There is plenty. Which would you want? Your breakfast? Your lunch? Or do you want your dinner now? There's no need for you to speak to me in that stupid tone. Your mates! That is for those that are responsible. Have all gone out to their businesses. You're just waking up. Tell me, why won't you fail in your venture? Uh, Tell me. After you say, don't bother me. I'm doing special prayers. Uh, I'm sorry. Sir, I would like to be on my way. Uh-uh. Yeah. So soon. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Let me see you off. No, don't. <laughs> Look at you. Look at what you do. You just, you just chased away my, 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 my visitor. Eh? Tell me. Look at Kaniko. Her husband just bought her a car. Yes. He's, he's the husband. How many years does the husband have? Tell me. Even the small business you have, you don't even pay attention to it. I am tired. I, I, I don't even know what I saw in you. Adako. Calm down. Please. Whatever you saw in me cannot be wrong. Look, I, I promise that things will get better. <laughs> Just be patient. Yes. Promise. Be patient. This, that, that. I speak, I am tired of your promises. I, I, I am fed up. I am fed up. Mind you, the house rent is still not being taken care of. I expect eviction any moment from now. Then we'll end in the street and promise the, the whole world we will build a castle in a month's time. Have you gone to school? Yes. My love, are you alright? I'm, I'm, I'm fine. My love. Oh. Meg, this is not fair. It's not fair. Stop doing this. Stop, stop being in this mood. It's not fair. I've told you. Believe me, I know what I'm doing. My love. I'm satisfied the way we are. I know that you're not a lazy man. The good Lord will bless us when it's time. Yes, I know that the good Lord will bless us. I also know that soon you will realize that I mean no harm. 
See, I, I'm just, I'm just hustling to give us the best, to give us a good life. Kaisul one never name, you know, not not just the life of, of mere existence and ah, it, it just it troubles me. My husband, my love, they are the father of my child. I trust your judgment and I believe in you. Please, my love, whatever you're doing, just be careful. Be cautious because the quest for fortune could be disastrous, you know. Just be careful, all right? Please. I'll be careful. I love you. I love you more.
Ahumba, 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 Monotana. Ahumba. To our new members who have dared the dark forces of the underworld in order to arrest their destiny. The sacred order of the ancient wisdom welcomes you. Ahumba. It is your wish to be here. A privilege only a few are granted. You have chosen to pursue a cause which is right and justified. The actualization of your dreams lies with your quest to conquer. You shall be abundantly blessed as you desire. Ahumba! The bold steps you have taken to change the course of your destiny end today. And a new world of fulfillment, contentment, riches beyond your wildest imagination begins now. Ahumba! Without sacrifices, there is no end. It is your wish that will be granted. It is your desire that will be fulfilled. Let your conscience guide you, as every man shall be judged according to his virtues. Ahumba! Lord! For
Junya. My only brother. No. It's not possible. It can't be possible. He's my brother. Are you still crying? Are you still crying? It's okay. Please stop crying, alright? It's alright. Good, come. It's alright, come. It's okay. Lucy, come here. It's okay, come here, come here. Come here. Go on like this. She is gone. My best friend is gone. I know. I know. I I am not crying because um, I can't be a man. It's just that I, I know her family. I know the kind of family she she comes from. They don't like me. They have never liked me. Now this is an opportunity for them to say all the rubbish they want to say. I can imagine. I understand. But I promise you that you will get past this. Okay? I will be right here with you. I, I will stand by you. The night shall know no peace except a humba is satisfied. The spirit shall not rest except we take what belongs to us. You cannot be asleep while a humba is awake.
Your heart belongs to us, while your body belongs to your maker. My client has been instructed, you ought to comply, or you quit. What's going on here? You don't know what is happening. This complaint has been bought by another person, and the new owner is demanding 100% increase on the rent, or we should be, we will be thrown out. What? what? What rubbish! Imagine. Jesus Christ, it is hard times! With the government banning imported goods, where are we supposed to get that kind of money from? Think they are bad that. This is sheer me. wickedness! Wait, 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 wait! Um, Oga, Oga lawyer, um, do you have a wife? Yes, I do. Fine. Now, if your wife owned a shop in this complex, what would you advise her to do? Good question. <coughs> First of all, my wife does not own a shop here. But if she had, I would advise her to comply or quit the shop. This man is so insensitive! What is it with you people? Uh, eh? You have the right to redress this issue in the court of law. But my advice is for you to comply or we'll throw you out. Hey, hey come on, you, you, you know what? You can calm, calm down, everybody, calm down. You know what? There is no point arguing with this man. It doesn't make any sense. Let's look for whoever bought this complex. We will go there or we we'll send the right delegation to go to go and meet them. What rubbish! He reached himself. He reached himself. He came boy. He came. He came boy. He came. Richie. Richie. Wonder. He bought. So so. He bought so. Can I have one for? Why the other one? He came boy. One in. He bought. He bought so so. He bought. I for. Anybody who says we will not leave will die disgracefully. And anybody who wishes us well, we shall enjoy with us abundant. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know that this fight has no rule. Hmm? Ogo, ogo. Mm -hmm. A fight is a fight. Of course. Anybody in the Mishi and now we're raising Fopu the Ishi. Fopu, no. What happens when the person presents? Eh, well, Ike. Hey, man. Eat a day. 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 Eat a Hey! 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 Mm -hmm. Jesus is love! Hey! Welcome home! Guy! Who's staying with you? Tell me where you get this yourself. And let me know with you this ornament. It's a lot. Hello, good evening. Hey, everyone. Go, go. You look lovely. An extremely ravishing. Why are you doing that? Thank you. 
Thank you so much. Yes, yeah. Are you ready for lunch? No, let me wait until I get back. Oh. That would be in the middle of the night. By then, even the dinner must have gotten cold. And probably I would be sleeping there. Gentlemen, please help me tell her that man <laughs> shall not leave my food alone. <laughs> I believe she knows. The good things of life don't come easy. Your husband works very, very, very hard. I know, and I appreciate him. Alright. But he should take a rest once in a while. Alright, I will, I will, but let's not dwell on it, okay? Gentlemen, give me something to drink, okay? While I go carry up something upstairs. Gentlemen, please, I'll be back. Alright, two minutes. I'll be back. So, what do I offer you to? Uh, anything. Like? If a city get something strong. You two are impossible. Mm -hmm. I'll be right back. Playing this game, Abby. Have you done your homework? Have you finished? Have you finished your homework? Leave me alone, no. Leave me alone. I said, will you want me to finish your homework now? I'll report you tomorrow. Give me that phone. I think you've seen what you've done. I think you've seen what you've done. Will you, you want me to leave me alone? My friend, go and do your homework now before I report it to mommy. <laughs> and you know what mommy will do to you. I'm sure you know. Mm -hmm. And I will report to daddy that you now have. A boyfriend. Tell me now. Lucy, tell me now. Which boyfriend now? Come back here, Lucy. Which? Haven't I told you guys never to come anywhere close to this room? Huh? No, you stopped me from playing my game. Well, why did you stop her from playing her game? Daddy, since she got back from school, she has been playing games. She hasn't done her homework. So I told her to go and do her homework. It's a lie. Daddy, Mom. let me tell you something. She has a boyfriend in school who she gives Could money she to. Excuse me. She has a boyfriend in school who she gives money to. You heard me. Oh, is that true? Is it like? It's just a friend. Like, like, girl. So, I give you money for your upkeep, and you, in turn, lavish it on a boy. Is that what you do? He's not my boyfriend. Shut up. Like Just you. shut up. Now listen up, both of you. I don't want to see any one of you anywhere close to this room ever again. This is my private sanctuary. Am I clear on that? Mm -hmm. Am I clear on that? Yes, yes Daddy. just get you pregnant and run away and I wouldn't like that. I'm more comfortable seeing you around female friends, okay? 
Okay, then. Alright, then. Daddy, okay. tell her to leave my phone for me. Daddy, tell her to do her homework. Don't worry, she's gonna do it, alright? Thank you, Daddy. Daddy, I'll see you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Good. Good. I mean, I've got wood to keep those children away from my, my, my private room. I mean, guys, I've got wood. That is my sanctuary, and you should be left in peace. How many times? Now you listen to me. Should anybody dare enter that place, I will not take it kindly. I won't. Am I clear on that? Am I clear on that? Yes. Gentlemen, please. Let's go. Akman. Yes. Okay. You're next after Miss Tina. Madam, your pregnancy is six weeks old today. Are you still willing to evacuate the baby? Yes, doctor. It would destroy my life if I keep this pregnancy. My life, my dreams, my everything. Please, I have to remove it, doctor. Very well, then. I can see you've signed all the necessary documents. Yes, doctor. I've done that. Go over there and uh, undress yourself, please. Thank you, Doctor.
I wasn't really expecting your man of honor today. Dog. Good friends don't need to inform each other before visiting, do they? That's right. You're correct. Doctor, you're a very good man. Very good man. And that's why whenever we visit, we come with good tidings. You, as you just took the word off my mouth. Huh? A doctor like this, you know, deserves nothing more than uh, or less than good things of life. Uh, it appears business is good. I have acquitted 10 young women of their unwanted pregnancies. Wow. Some in advanced stages and some just a few weeks uh, old. I also have a special deliveries today. Blood of an infant, pure and innocent. I have never doubted you will deliver on your promise. Not for one second have I. <laughs> a friend in need is a, a friend, friend indeed. indeed. He who says we will live, we will live, wine and dine with us. And anybody who says we will not succeed, will die disgracefully. <laughs> oh, gentlemen, you've been absolutely nice to me, therefore. I don't have any reason to disappoint you. You see, what you do with what I supply to you, it's not of my business. Wise talk. Yes, a wisdom is not bought. You cannot buy wisdom in the open markets. Neither can it be sold there. Anybody who wants to be wealthy, acquire riches, be comfortable and successful in life must first acquire wisdom. Yeah, you're right there, you're right there. You see, but gentlemen, my success is based on sealed lips. That's a good one. Anyhow, doctor, let me just quickly let you into this. You see, the fetus of, of young virgin women is in very high demand. But I want to save you the trouble of being misled by these young smarts Girls, Nanyahana, I chat from here to here. You know, I tell you to leave the supplies to me. I will supply you all the women. Oh. So you can do the aborting, okay, and take out their fetus. <laughs> so, Philip. Uh, doctor, uh, my area of specialty is actually married women and pregnant women. No job. <laughs> Doctor, mine is simple. Young, innocent boys. I catch them. I pet them. I had a lawyer. And then I open them up. I tear them and implant my seed into them. Oh, choose up. Part of finder. Bully. Part of finder. Bully. Bully. <laughs> <laughs> Hey! Why are you shouting? Do you want to wake the entire household? I've searched for you all over the place. Am I lost? I needed to show you something. So, I've been looking for you. I've knocked on all the doors. You didn't come out. So, I thought you went out. Yes, I went out. But I'm back now. So, can you go to sleep? But... But what? What? I, I didn't hear the door open. Good. Go to bed and leave me to think of my life.
My daughter, do you realize what you are doing? I do not want this child. Because it's going to disrupt the great dream that I have. What great dream is greater than the gift of a child which many seek, yet they don't have? I do not care. Because my dreams are beyond having a child now. Then why don't you absent yourself from what leads to it? Well, it has happened already. But I have no regrets, so long as I can keep this baby out of the way. What if you cannot be pregnant again? Oh, who cares? All I know is that I'm going to get married to a wealthy man. Besides, there is nothing modern science cannot do. You will have yourself to blame, you arrogant young woman. So you have so 